So this is our storm window with the awning. And we can see the snow accumulation outside. It's weird, it just looks like hail. But yeah, it's getting white on the ground out there. Gonna have to go check it out pretty soon. This sure is cozy though in here. That stove puts off so much heat and it's such a dry, nice heat too. This is sweet. <laughs> really glad. I wish there was more storm windows like this, but at least there's one. I am ripping through firewood. I'll probably be through this entire barrel here. Um, yeah, by probably 4 or 5 p.m. It's about 11 or about noon right now. So, yeah, I'm going to rip through it. And somebody did mention, oh, bless you. Somebody did mention that this stove I'm using, while it is an awesome stove, it's meant more for traveling, um, not for full timing. And if I had a heavier cast iron stove, it would retain more heat. So that would be nice. Probably just focus on that in the final cabin build, um, which I've been scoping out. And I'm excited to share plans on that for you. But let's get through the snow day here today before we uh, dream about future cabins too much just had this thought looking out this window that weather's kind of cool because it's an example of the constant change in life. The unavoidable change of the seasons. And that's just life. You're always, things are always changing. You're always moving forward, getting colder, warming up. <laughs> it's interesting. Oh man, it's all melted up already. All we got is just a little bit on the panels. <laughs> That's okay. It's actually really nice. It's not that cold out, so it all just melted away. But hey, still the first snow in the tent. But uh, hopefully we'll get more tonight. That'll be sweet. All right, I'm hungry. Let's make some food. Mmm, yummy. Philly cheesesteak pita wrap. Well, it's a lot more clear skies now, huh, Codes? About 3 p.m. and uh, about an hour, hour and a half, we're going to lose the sun. So, nice to see it before the day ends. Tomorrow should be nice and bright and sunny. And I don't know if we're going to get snow tonight or I don't know what's going to happen. I guess we'll have to see. But either way, the tent is ready and really enjoying it. It's been really comfy today, even though it's got a lot chillier. Cold girl, you look so good in that orange car heart. Yeah, you do. Keeping you a little bit warmer. I know it's cold. Okay, let's go back. Let's go, coach. <laughs> Camp. It's right here. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> oh, it's nice and warm in here, hey? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Get under there. Get under. Check out this view as my laptop boots up. Bed made, aeronaut outdoor, hover quilt, keeping us nice and warm. Got some incense going over there. And we've got our entry exit through the awning room, visible. How do you like your orange car heart, Coach? It's nice, huh? It's got some pockets. Comfy, eh? You wanna go cut that log? Let's go get it. We're gonna finally get our stump. Day three, working on the stump. We're gonna get it. Three. <laughs> I've sliced all these little bits off. I'm gonna attempt the biggest cut I've done with this chainsaw right down the middle so I can get a solid stump that I can be uh, axing this wood and splitting this wood on. So let's see if I can get through this.
Yeah, felt like it was dying. Dang it. Man, if only Terry from Whipsaw Woodworks was here with his beast of a gas chainsaw that I ran. I've never run anything like that. On that no holy cow that was a rush my crocs are full of sawdust oh man we are so close We've chopped all the way through this one side here and just gotta get that side let's go there it is look at that that's our stump oh it's almost stuck we can get it out though. Yes. All right, let's see if it's a good stump. It is a good stump. It's all right. It's a little wonky. But it's our very first stump that we've cut. I mean, it's not really a stump, it's a section of wood, but we're gonna split wood on it. It's gonna be great. Uh, I finally got my stump. And I did all this with the Greenworks electric chainsaw. So I'll link that below. I bought it on Amazon. Two, three years ago, we've been ripping it. Two batteries gets me through like a day of cutting. And I'm exhausted by the end. So let me go and show you why I cut this. Stop. First little split here for you. Look at that. Here we go. Then we'll split this one more time. This is good. Damage. Getting uh, some grooves in it already. And boom, we got three pieces, a little bit taller and just so cool. Look at that. Oh yeah. Got all this dead stuff I'm gonna process. And doing a lot of processing here because See, it's real gloomy. We're getting snow in the next couple of days, so gotta catch up on some wood. Make sure we're as far ahead as we've ever been. So we're splitting a bunch of wood to prep, doing all sorts of things to prep. But I wanted to stop a moment and take a look at this juniper. That's all natural. Purple, pink, found in nature. How cool is that? I mean, I think that's neat. I think that's really neat. I almost don't want to split this, but the color will change. So we'll split it up and burn it in our stove. Ah, wow, look at that. I'm getting good with this ax. <laughs> Little left-handed split skis. <laughs> that might be my coolest ax moment ever. Left-handed split while filming with my right hand on camera. Not sketchy at all. I'm a skilled axman. Then my parents came to visit for a couple days. Yeah, those rocks are so cool. Yeah, that cliff's epic. I fire up our wood stove here. We've got our fan that will be activated once the stove gets hot enough. We've placed big logs on the bottom, log cabin style, medium, kindling on the top. And uh, we've got a lot of bark and brush. That's like going to be our main fire starter with kindling on it. And uh, we'll close the door and light it through our little hole there. Hold that for a minute. Wow. Should be good. Bye bye. -o. <laughs> trip bio oh i love my parents um yeah i didn't film a whole lot because i just wanted to spend some quality time with them and uh sometimes the camera can take away from that you know um 
So yeah, it's all a balance, man. Family is huge to me. Family is really important. So I want to share a little bit of that in my videos with you. And so is RC Rock Crawling. So I had to share with you this $70 Black Friday steal of a deal on this 18th scale Land Cruiser with working headlights and taillights. It, I just had a blast driving this little thing around and adding it to my collection. And in the next few episodes, maybe even the next episode, the snow. Oh, oh, is he going to make it? Oh, he made it. Anyways, the snow is going to hit us hard here at the property. So I'm stoked to show it with you. Comment what you thought of this video and we'll see you on the next one. The only question is, are you down to mob? Off grid, baby. Yeah.